Hello everyone. So this is Mohammad Tawid bin Manan, uh, uh, and today is 21st of July 2019. So I am recording this video to uh, highlight the changes that are proposed uh, and uh, will be effective from 16th of December in PMP exam. What is actually changing in the exam? First of all, there is no change at this moment communicated for the PM box. So the project management body of knowledge will be the same. The PM box 6th edition will be persisting. And with that, you'll be getting the agile extension for, uh, for your exam. Now, what are the change highlights? So for me, the major highlight is the predictive and the adaptive uh, both are being emphasized right now. So PMI has, the, uh, has taken the very right initiative, which is, uh, like value, putting value for both predictive and adaptive methodologies. And the questions will be set, uh, half of them would be predictive and half of them would be agile and hybrid. So going forward, it is evident that no single project management methodology will be sustaining. The industry has evolved and so did PMI. So, so that, that is the biggest change. So you'll have to emphasize more on the agile project management uh, uh, concepts which are uh, put in all the knowledge areas in uh, across PM book plus there is an extension of agile extension uh, so which is uh, developed uh, uh, by PM, uh, PMI in collaboration with the uh, industry best practice uh, of uh, agile what else is changing the change, uh, the second change is the shift in the focus of PM skills assessment. So earlier the skills assessment were based on the five um, process group. So process groups were being initiation, planning, execution, monitoring, control, and closing, which are more specific to the predictive. Now PMI, PMI has evolved to three more uh, dominant domains of project management, main, namely the people, process, and the business environment. So they will be assessing uh, your skills as people manager, people leader, and then how how good you are on execution of your processes that you learn the 49 processes as of uh, now in PM Box 6 edition, and how good do you know about the business environment? How do you know uh, the uh, business acumen uh, that is required for, for becoming a uh, project manager? And then uh, another specific change is they have specified task versus uh, enablers. Uh, it's, it's sort of a checklist for you. You, uh, For example, you learn manage uh, conflict and what are the enablers for managing a conflict. So that way you can check, uh, check your learning list and uh, uh, go for your preparation. And another significant uh, change or uh, addition is the focus on managing your project in compliant way and the compliance in your project management. So they have focused more on the compliance side. So these are the highlights for me in the uh, change of the project, but I, I want to definitely uh, highlight a few significant additions to the change. Number one being the servant leadership, which is, a, uh, it, uh, I should say this is very required if you are working in an agile environment or you are a scrum leader. Then uh, we have uh, till now learned the training requirement, training management and all, but we have not maybe focused more on the training outcome measurements. So from 16th of December, uh, this will be focused, like how to me measure the outcome of the training, then how well do you maintain your team, how well you uh, maintain the knowledge transfer, that, that, uh, that is a people management skill and that is also being uh, assessed. Another significant addition is the personality uh, uh, indicators. So personality indicators being the uh, behavioral assessment for individuals and adjust their emotional needs. So uh, personality uh, indicators will be assessed here and uh, a straightforward uh, which comes into my mind is the Myers-Briggs, the famous Myers-Briggs um, uh, personality indicators. Uh, you can Google through that. And then your business understanding and you, how well do you coordinate with other projects and other operations that uh, that skill will be tested as well. 
then comes straightforward uh, agile that iterative and in incremental practices throughout the project life cycle how well do you manage the iterations how do you how well do you bridge the iterations to the waterfall project management so those will be uh, assessed benefits tracking and how to verify the benefits are being gained so uh, being gained so uh, here benefits tracking and the verification me uh, mechanisms will be tested then comes the value based prioritizing and backlog management so it's it's fundamental of agile so if uh, in agile you have to uh, deliver highest value fast and first so uh, how to prioritize your uh, most valuable feature how to maintain your backlog how, how to how to de de develop those to the sprints so that that is one aspect of the additional test, uh, test uh, you'll be facing from 16th of december and then how do you apart from uh, creating the wbs work breakdown structures uh, and decomposing the uh, products how do you uh, subdivide your task to find the minimum viable product which is the least uh, least uh, version of a working product so uh, how do you get to the minimum viable product that is also being tested and as i mentioned in the highlight part project compliance how do you classify compliance how do you get the support for the compliance what are the threats what is the consequence of non being non-compliant addressing the compliance needs compliance measurements all will be tested and finally there is another complete new section added added which is the organizational culture assessment and how does it impact your project and how does your project impact the culture of the organization so these are the significant additions if i uh, want to uh, highlight here so what it necessarily means to you so there are three classes of um, aspirants at this moment maybe someone of you are willing to, uh, willing to sit before 15th of December. Someone are willing to start the preparation right now. Someone might have completed the 35 contact hours or the complete training at, uh, at this moment. So these are the three classes. What, what is the strategy? What should be the strategy for you? So if you are willing to sit or you are in, uh, in preparation for focusing your exam on 15th of December or before, you don't have to worry about these changes so go with the flow so whatever you started uh, follow your study plan go, uh, go and appear at the exam and pass become a pmp so there is no significant change uh, on your part then if you are uh, willing to start the preparation at this moment there is no straightforward answer to this however the best practitioners say that there should be a hundred days preparations uh, preparation for the pmp so say, having said that, if you are uh, starting your preparation from 16th August of 2019, so you might uh, want to embrace the new outline. So the last segment would be, I have completed my exam preparation course, but I'm planning to sit after 16th of December. What, what, what do I require? Do I need to attend the 35 contact hours again? Do I need to uh, complete a course again? No, it's not mandatory because even the PMP exam preparation course is not mandatory. The, what PMI says, you have to have a 35 contact hours or 35 professional uh, uh, training under a uh, legal entity. So you have to conduct on project management. So if you have a 35 uh, hours project management training, that suffices the requirement from PMI for the PMP. However, for a uh, shortcut or maybe quick review of the PM book, people, uh, the PMP exam preparation course is very popular nowadays. So having said that, if you have already completed your 35 contact hours, you don't have to redo your course. What you could do is to uh, improve your uh, knowledge or uh, skills on the Agile project management. You might want to attend a one day or two day Agile workshop uh, where you get the exam cram. So all in all, these are the high level changes and these are the strategy I want to, uh, strategy I want to uh, uh, put before you. One last thing from my side, it's completely my personal view. PMP exam six, uh, from 16th December 2019 is becoming predictive plus adaptive and it's applicable straightforward for all the hybrid projects and 
uh, till 15 December, this is limited, not fully. So there, uh, before 15 December, you are becoming PMP. After 15th of December, you are becoming a PMP. So based on your preparation status, you can choose wh whichever date you want to follow. So uh, there is no uh, need to worry that I might miss some exciting contests that are coming on 16th of December because you have to renew your PMP uh, in three years and you have to earn 60 uh, mm -hmm. professional development units and definitely you, you can learn a whole lot of things even if you get certified today. So best of luck for your PMP exam preparation and if you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.